Right now at 6, a radical change is being made to the search for a new superintendent for Clark County Schools. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears learned the Board of Trustees isn't happy with the process. On the heels of a Contact 13 report about possible flaws with the search firm the district hired, trustees expressed frustration that all the finalists are out-of-state candidates with little or no connection to Nevada. Originally, the board was only going to interview those four candidates, but last night they had a change of heart. But I think it's insulting, and I say this respectfully. We have some of the best people with some of the best minds here in Clark County School District. Less than a week ago, the board was standing by the final four external candidates and the process that left local applicants out. But now there are questions. Many of my constituents sent me very easy Google searches on items. Today, trustee Carolyn Edwards said it was disrespectful for the board to not consider internal candidates. I think the board had a change of heart about what they wanted to see and so we took charge of that and that's our job. Critics of the search process have been advocating to see locals in the mix. They want to make the board aware that your child's education needs to be the top priority. You know, hiring somebody from the outside, they always want to make their mark. Well, it's not about them. It's about students in the classroom. Just this morning, the board confirmed that a front runner for the superintendent job withdrew his name from consideration. That was former Los Angeles Unified School District Superintendent John DC. They were not able to provide any details. We have confirmed that now CCSD Chief Academic Officer Mike Barton will be throwing his hat in the ring. As a result of all this, there will be no interviews tomorrow as originally planned. Instead, trustees will meet next Thursday to determine which internal candidates will be interviewed before the end of the month. The new schedule for community input and a final decision is on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.